What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn how to troubleshoot mobile operating systems and application security issues. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the common symptoms. So the first common symptom that you may come across is signal drop and weak signals. And the easiest way to mitigate a signal drop or a weak signal on a cellular device is to simply move to a different location to pick up a stronger signal or adjust how you hold the phone. If cellular connections are good outside the office or home, but they are poor inside, you can use a cellular repeater that can help improve the the performance. Next thing we're going to talk about is power drain. So if a device has the screen brightness maxed out in addition to having too many apps running at the same time, that could result in the device having a power drain. And to mitigate a power drain issue, you would simply dim the screen's brightness and close out apps that are not being used. When a cellular device is out of range of a signal, placing the device into airplane mode will also help to minimize the power drain. Let's talk about slow data speed. So some factors that can result in slow data speeds are as follows. You have no connection to a cellular network. So you want to check the device's network indicator to determine its network connection type. You have weak cellular or Wi-Fi signals. If possible, go ahead and switch to a stronger SSID signal. And you may come across having unlimited data plan speed caps after reaching speed or data limits per billing period. So you want to check the device's data usage and set up data usage warnings to display when your device reaches a certain threshold or switch to a different data plan that offers more data. Next is unintended Wi-Fi connection. So some Wi-Fi hotspots allow for mobile devices to automatically connect, which can be risky because these hotspots may not be secure connections. To disable this feature, you want to check the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone. If you have an Android, just go to settings, connections, Wi-Fi, more, advanced, and then disable auto connect. If you have an iPhone, go to settings and Wi-Fi and then turn off ask to join networks. Next, we have unintended Bluetooth pairing. So to prevent a mobile device from pairing with unknown devices, you want to turn off the Bluetooth when you are not using it. And you want to ensure that the mobile device requests a code from a device that is trying to pair with it. Next, we have leaked personal files and data. So if a mobile device is lost to prevent personal files and or data from being discovered, you wanna make sure that you have encryption enabled. You wanna make sure that you have options to lock or wipe the device in case the device is lost. You wanna make sure that stuff is enabled. You wanna avoid connecting to open Wi-Fi networks. You wanna use a VPN connection if you must use an open Wi-Fi network. And you want to disable Wi-Fi tethering or connection sharing if if not in use. Let's talk about data transmission over limits. So to check to see how much data your mobile device is using in order to avoid data overages, which could result in additional charges to your bill. If you have an Android, you want to go to settings, connections, data usage, and do you want to ensure set data limit is turned on to present you a warning to prevent exceeding data limits. If you have an iOS device, just go to settings, cellular, cellular data usage, and then go ahead and disable any apps that should not be using cellular cellular connections. Let's talk about unauthorized account access. So you want to go ahead and implement two-factor authentication to prevent unauthorized account access to your social media, banking, or any other accounts that can be accessed by way of your mobile device. Let's talk about unauthorized location tracking. So to prevent location tracking within an iOS device, go to settings, privacy, location services, and system services, and then turn off the frequent locations and clear the history. To prevent location tracking within an Android device, go to settings, personal, privacy, and safety, location, location method, and GPS. Now keep in mind, there are third-party apps that can be used to perform location tracking without the authorization of the device user. 
And let's talk about unauthorized camera and microphone activation. So once again, there are third party apps that do exist that can gain access to a mobile device's camera or microphone without the permission of the user of the device. Some of these apps are legitimate and they are offered in Google Play and the App Store. Now, they are typically marketed towards parents and organizations that want to keep tabs on the individuals that are using these phones. And then let's talk about high resource utilization utilization. So to reduce CPU memory and storage usage on mobile devices, you want to uninstall apps that are not needed. You want to configure apps to receive updates only via Wi-Fi and not cellular connections. And then you want to go ahead and turn off background updates. All right, so in summary, this was a real quick video. We talked about troubleshooting mobile operating systems and application security issues. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go ahead on over to my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A-plus 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, Peace.